Remember two years ago when things started to get, well, a bit weird? And we all learnt a new word. What we've been calling the coronavirus finally has an official name, COVID-19. Yeah. Who would have thought after all this time we'd still be hearing it every day? A COVID-19 scare has hit the royal family. These rapid antigen tests. Let's look at the latest COVID numbers now. Look, I am pretty over it. So how are you guys doing? Well, it's affected me a lot since I just had COVID and I was about to get my first dose, so we had to push it off a bit, so yeah. I rather would have been at school just because it's a new year. Um, I want to meet my teacher. It hasn't really affected me that much, but sometimes like when you think some people might have it, it scares you a bit. I feel like people have kind of stopped doing things and just sitting on the couch and watching TV and all that sort of stuff. So I think we'll need a bit of help to get back into the routine that we used to have. While the last couple of years have affected everyone differently, experts are worried that some of you guys might be struggling. There's no question it's been a very, very challenging time for many children and young people across Australia. That's the National Children's Commissioner, Anne Hollands, and she reckons the government will have some work to do to make sure you guys come out the other side of the pandemic in tip-top shape which is why she wants to hear from you. And so at the moment, what um, I'm doing is I'm inviting all kids across Australia at the age between nine and 17 to do this short survey. Uh, it's at kidscovidsurvey.com. The survey is open now until March 20th, and it'll ask things like how you've coped over the last few years, things you did or didn't like about school, or what's changed at home. We're going to use that to uh, really say to government, to say to the Prime Minister and all of um, the governments around Australia, these are the things that Australian kids are saying that they want to help them with their mental health and wellbeing. It's not just the Children's Commissioner. Last week, some of Australia's top doctors called on the government to put together a recovery plan to make sure kids' mental and physical health is looked after after the pandemic. In the meantime, experts say we all have to look after each other and ourselves. And that means talking to someone if you are feeling anxious or upset. You find a grown-up that you can trust, uh, someone in your family or a teacher or school counsellor, or, uh, or contact Kids Helpline because uh, the, the thing is there's always someone there who you can reach out to. Or you can take the advice of these guys. I talk to my family, like I can call my nana and papa or my uncle or my auntie. I like to talk to my family a lot and sometimes my pets if I need to. Just trying to get back into the routines you had before COVID started and just trying to get back to normal, yeah.